Anyways, this is how our final shot looks, uh, or at least that's how it looks in camera. Now, the next thing, obviously, I'm, I'm going to do is uh, I have to add the fireflies, as you saw in, in the final effect. Now, uh, originally, the one of the reasons why I picked that location is because there was actually a lot of fireflies there, like real ones. Uh, here's actually one shot that I got like a few days before in at the same location, and as you'll see, I mean, you know, the, this is shot on ISO 16,000 and you can barely see those fireflies. And they almost look, uh, they just don't look as, I would say, as kind of romantic or, or kind of fairy tale like. So what I settled for was a quick uh, effect done in After Effects. <laughs> now, I, I say that it's a quick effect simply because, uh, you know, I, I didn't actually end up doing the fireflies completely from, from scratch, which I could have done in, in After Effects. But uh, I, I just simply didn't have time for it. And I found this really cool uh, preset basically for After Effects called Swarms uh, from creationeffects.com uh, and it's just 49 bucks for this whole bundle it gives you a whole bunch of co really cool presets uh, and not just fireflies but like you know all different types of butterflies and other kinds of bugs and mosquitoes and things like that that you can very quickly add uh, to uh, your your videos so if you want to have let's say this kind of a plague like scene or just swarm of like i said mosquitoes or things like that uh, it's very fast to do like literally for me to set up my scene it took me around two minutes because uh, you basically just open the preset uh, you adjust your kind of your camera angle and also how many of these uh, you know f uh, insects you want so you know i picked the fireflies i i kind of i think i put in around 50 of them uh, and then you can adjust very quickly using these settings that they have. So you just kind of, you know, adjust the, the sliders here and you can, uh, you know, adjust the, the, the way that they move, how fast they're blinking the lights, all that kind of stuff, you know, how erratic their movement is. And you can even do it so that they kind of follow this leader uh, just by animating the position of the leader. So basically that's all I did. You know, once I had kind of my, my scene figured out how many of these fireflies I wanted, uh, then I just rendered out the stuff and then I composited on top of my my scene here uh, now the one more thing I had to do was to uh, kind of mask out in, in some of the shots some of the fireflies so that they look like they're basically behind uh, that foliage or, or those you know that branch that was basically in the foreground of our shot and again that was a very quick little masking job so if you guys want to get that same effect then go check out uh, creationeffects.com uh, they actually have a bunch of other really cool presets like a uh, flock of different birds or schools of different fish and things like that like you know water lines uh, really really cool stuff so uh, I'm, I'm definitely want to be checking out some of their other presets because uh, I have a, a few other projects coming up where I think I'm gonna find these very useful anyways back in our scene you know once we add the fireflies uh, and then I do very quick color grading I mean literally all I did is I applied one of my LUTs which uh, you can find on my website at tomantosfilms.com slash store and that's it. That, this is our finished scene here. And now I did actually end up getting another close-up shot of our actress here where she's kind of looking around first. Uh, so when you edit it all together, uh, this is how it looks. Definitely a big difference when you compare it to what we kind of originally started with, which was just her and that lantern and literally looked like she was in a, in a cave somewhere or something.